Hello guys, let's talk about how you can view your high vision camera on Smart TV. As you can see, I have this camera, it's already working. Here on my TV, that's the one. So I have different cameras. I have a Mub View camera, Wise camera, Vintag, and High Vision. So basically, I'm using an app here that allows me to have multiple cameras. Let me just show you here when I use the remote control, that's the Fire Stick. I click here and I can show that I'm using this software, the Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. The version is the 17.2.1. I got it from Amazon App Store. So it's basically working here on my TV, okay? So the first thing that I have to check is that I have my camera working, so I use my cell phone. Here we go. I'm using the app here, the Hike Vision app, the Hike Connect. Let me just get some focus here. Here we go. Oh, I'm sure that's working here. And I can also check here on my computer. So I'm just logged in here. So I basically put the IP address of the camera here on the top. And then I log in to make sure that I have the camera working, okay? Let me just type it again. I think I put the wrong password here. There we go. So it's loading here in my camera and I'm good to go. So I'm sure that's working on my computer and my cell phone. The next step is come here to the app and start adding the camera. So let me just come back here to manage the camera. So basically I'm using the remote control here. I come to this menu and here I have different cameras. You see that the software works with Arlo cameras, MobView, Wise, Vintag, any different cameras here. Then I have Hike Vision that's already working there. Let me just delete this camera so you see how I do it from scratch, right? And I have another one here. I'm also going to delete. So I'm gonna start fresh and you see how it's done, right? So I don't have any camera yet for from Hike Vision. If I come back here to the main live view, I see all other cameras, but the Hike Vision is no longer here, okay? So I start away without the Hike Vision camera. The first thing that I have to do with this app is come here and scan the network. That's the fastest way to do because you're gonna scan your network, it's gonna find your high vision camera. So here hit scan and start looking for your camera. You see here the information, it goes from zero to 100%, looking for cameras in the network and already found the high vision camera and other cameras here. So I come down and here I have high vision camera twice, right? One is using the regular protocol high vision protocol and the other one is using the OnVIF, which is an universal protocol for security cameras. Okay, high vision camera uses this protocol, it's common for high vision cameras. But basically here is the best way to go is to use the standard protocol from high vision if it works. So you try this first, if it doesn't work, then you try on the OnVIF protocol. I'm gonna show you first the, the regular one. So I'm going to unselect the, the one with one. Let me just come here and unselect this one and just select this, right? And then I come here to add the camera and you see added two cameras. I add another camera here, probably by mistake. I don't know which one, it doesn't matter. When I, I just need to add the camera here and find uh, and then come back here, just come here to come back to the main menu, right? And manage cameras. There we go. I have another camera here that I Added by mistake, I don't need it, so I'll just you delete this one. There we go. Delete, and here I have the high key vision, right? It's there, but I still need to set up the camera because I need to insert the username, the password, otherwise, uh, the Fire Stick doesn't know which username and password to use, right? So I come here to the three dots and click edit. And now I have the information about the camera. So I can come here and change the information, name, for example. It's using the default name of Hike Vision and also the IP address. And I can change this, leave just the name, put any name you want here. There we go, Hike Vision, next. Okay, so I'm good to go with the name. Camera brand Hike Vision. Because here you can select different versions, different brands. You see, there's a lot of them here in the app. Come back, camera model, and here, the host name, IP address, you don't need to change anything here other than the username and password. So basically here, the username that you have to log into your camera, let me just put here, admin, that's the user that I have there on the camera, 
when I log in via web browser, and also the password. Let me just insert the password here. There you go, I have the password, I hit next. Okay, and I'm good to go. So let me just go up and here you see camera status, it's okay. So I click here to just to confirm and it's trying to connect to the camera. It says that secured connection, yes, it looks great. Let's just see if it works, okay? It says video failed 404 not found. Sometimes it doesn't work Perhaps there's something related to the resolution or another thing, but I'm just confirming I need to come back here and go to the live view one more time. A live view, just to see if it works or not. And you see here the high vision, I have uh, some motion detection there. See somebody moving here, but it's not working, okay? So what I'm gonna do then is come back there and using uh, manage the camera again. I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna use the own Vif protocol. Okay, let me just delete this one. And now I'm gonna find, scan the network again to find the high vision using the own Vif protocol. But first, you need to come here to your computer and make sure the own Vif protocol is enabled on your camera. So here via computer, I come to the configuration and here I need to come to this menu, okay? Network, you have here basic settings and you have advanced settings. So you go to advanced settings and here you find integration protocol. And here you need to enable OnVIF, that's the universal protocol available on the high vision camera and create a new user here. So you add a new user, just like this, insert the username and the password, any one that you want, okay? And here you can use administrator as the level instead of using media user or operator, just to make sure it's going to work, use administrator here, okay? I already have mine here created. I gave the name OnVIF, so I know that I have the main login for the camera, which is admin, and I have the other login that's using OnVIF protocol. The username for this case is OnVIF, okay? And the password is one that I just put it there. So now I have the username and password. I know that OnVIF is working. Then I come here, back here, Using the remote control, I'm gonna search here, scan my network, wait for it to, to find my camera. There we go, come here, and I see that I have this option for high vision twice again, but this time I'm gonna uncheck this one and I'm gonna use just high vision with the OnVIF protocol, okay? You do this if the first option doesn't work because this option is better, faster, but if it doesn't work, then you go to OnVIF just like I'm doing here. And I come here to add the camera, edit two cameras again. It's adding an extra camera here somewhere. I don't know why. I think I'm selecting some camera here. Let me see. I'm not, but I don't know why it's adding two camera. Anyway, let me just come back here and then I can delete it there. I come here to manage cameras. There you go. I have this camera here. That's added by mistake. It's not the one that I want. Just delete it here. And there you go. I have my high vision here. I just click again here and edit. And let's change the camera name one more time. Here, just delete the rest here. Just leave high vision. Next. Okay. And now it's using the on this protocol, here's the profile. You don't need to change anything here. You don't need to change the IP address. You just need to come here and insert the username. In this case, I created there a username called OnVIF. It's just the username, right? I mean, just using the same name of the protocol, but it's just a name. You can put everything, anything you want there. I'm using OnVIF. And here you're gonna insert the password. There we go, I have the password, I hit next, okay. Then I come back here again, I see the status there, it's okay. Just click here and see if it's working. And there you go, I have an image here. It's just a test, but at least I have an image here. That means probably you're gonna have image on the main screen there. So I close here, come back to this arrow to go to the main menu. 
one more time and go to live view and there we go I have the hiking camera working here there we go then I can just select the camera put it on full screen then I have op different options here if I have a PTZ camera I can control from here okay I, can, I have this PTZ option here but in this case I don't have a PTZ camera here for hiking vision but if I do I can control Okay, using this menu here, okay? So it's basically working. Just, let me just show here that I have another camera, this mob view, for example, this first one here, that I have this PTZ option. When I enable here, uh, not here, but here, okay? Then I can just control the camera using the remote control. I just pressing the button here, see? Up, down, right, and left okay if you have a PTZ camera in your case your high vision is a PTZ for example you can use this option then you click here to come back and it's working okay so that's the way you can view your high vision camera on a smart TV I hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel leave your thumbs up and your comments and I see you in the next one